Hey everybody, Skyrim Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Game and Wario. In the last episode, we did ourselves a good little game of taxi. And yes, we do not have another token today because I have record, decided to record the rest of this game today. As of this day. You know, because, you know, gotta, gotta finish sometime soon. I don't want this series going on longer than it needs to be. That's only gonna be like, what, 11 episodes? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, maybe more? This whole pandemic thing finally stops. <sighs> yeah. So last time we did some taxi, we met Soldier Boy, the Decision Boy. Yeah, we're gonna call him Soldier Boy now. Um, and talk to Johnny on the phone. And this time, we're going to be playing ourselves some pirates, the last minigame of our adventure. Ahoy! Captain Wario is the name. Block arrows, move your booty. My based action battle game will get you shaking in your temples. Yeah. I'm not a pirate, and I'm not Wario. Yeah, I know it's a real shocker to many people, but yes, I am actually not Wario. I'm Skyward Link. Anyway, without further ado, let us play a game of pirates. Yeah, sorry, I had to be quiet for that, because I actually like the opening to Pirates, like, a whole lot. And, yeah. We got Pirates here, so let's start the game. Use your magical shield to block arrows and strike cool poses. Old gamepad facing the TV. I press ZL, ZR to start. Hold securely with both hands. Let's get started. Hello there, Great One. I am the Adventure King. Your sea lights seem shaky, so let's start by taking a look around. There are four ships, one left, one right, one center, and one overhead. Find each one by looking around through your magical shield. So we got the center over there, we go look to the left, we got ourselves the left, we go to the right, we got ourselves the right, and we look up in the sky, we got one over. That's all of them. And that's Captain Wario. Okay, lads. When I say center, shoot straight ahead. Okay. He'll order his henchmen to shoot arrows at you. When his crew shoots their arrows, hold up your shield to block them. Then shake it downward to release the arrows. You heard the man. Arrow incoming from the center ship. Hold up your shield to be good. Now shake the arrow off your shield. When I say your, shoot from overhead. Okay. Over. Arrow incoming from the overhead ship. Raise your shield over. Yes. Why not? He say you right. Shoot from over there. Okay. Right. Arrow incoming from the ship on your right. Hold up your shield. Nice. And when I say left, then you guys shoot. Okay. Left. Arrow incoming from the ship on your left. Hold up your shield. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Come on, lads, let's go! Okay. The next volley will fire in time with the rhythm. After all the arrows are launched, hold up your shield when you hear come on. After blocking the arrows, shake them off in time with down. Then listen for Captain Wario's next command. I'll show you how it's done. Come on! Take down! Lower your shield and listen to Captain Wario. Now one more time. Better. Come on. Take down. Uh, 
just want to be quiet for that because, you know, there's voice acting. So Captain Wario will go ahead and name a direction you want to pull up your gamepad, aka your shield, and take down, put it down, whatever they say, uh, uh, take down. You want a sense of rhythm for this one. Because this is technically a rhythm game. A la Rhythm Heaven. I mean, not really. I'm actually doing very good. I can tell because the environment is super exciting. I've never done this good. Oh boy, Captain Wario! He's doing something good, man, I can tell you. The whole world's grooving right now. Try not to talk too much because, like, I want you to feel these sick grooves, you know? Alright, and per Wario tradition, the last part of every game's gotta have like a dance scene. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna match Wario's moves, and you're gonna wanna pose and dance. I consider myself to be doing a good job. Ouch. I hurt myself on the chair. You know, you can't have that. I believe the shining means that you're doing really good. going in these poses. I'm not sure if you actually have to or not. That's completely up to debate. I have to do my research. And you raise your shield and in rhythm we shoot the laser and knock out Captain Wario and his goons. Whew. What did I do? I feel like an accuracy and sharpness. I think I did really good. Okay. I cleared pirates for the first time. There's room for improvement. I did do a great job blocking arrows. You're gosh darn right, Captain. Hey, I did better than my first time. I got a meh my first time doing this stage. Man. Oh, how the tables have turned. And ladies and gentlemen, that was Game & Wario. All around, I think it's a really good game on the Wii U. I think it gets a lot of flack for not being a traditional WarioWare game. And while I do think that this game, the WarioWare games are for sure better than this game, for like by a long shot, I think this game is still worth playing if you were a Wii U owner during like the time it came out. And also, you can just get this game very cheap, so it's like... You know, if you want to just really want to bulk up your Wii U collection, if you even have one at these, uh, during this day and age where everything's getting ported to the Switch. Um, yeah, this might be a good one to add. Super short, super sweet. I think this might be one of the shortest 
I mean, I don't think anything will ever top Kirby's Dreamland as the shortest Let's Play I've ever done. But, in terms of content-wise, yeah, this is definitely one of the shorter ones, because I don't do- I, I don't think- I actually think the longest episode we've had is actually Taxi, which was the last one. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this game is good. I had a good time playing it. I really enjoyed it a lot. We're getting Orbulon Penny. We we don't even know who these people are. Mike? Who's Mike? We've never met Mike. We've never met Mike before. Fronk? I mean, it's anyone's guess who Fronk is. Actually, I did mention Fronk in one of the gamer minigames that we played. Micro games. Sal out? Yeah. In terms of WarioWare fashion, um, they are there. The monkey! Um, they're putting old cast. Like, if this was... Like, you know, like, this was a game developed by the WarioWare gang. So, yeah. Overall, I think this game is really good. If you have a Wii U and you're just, like, I... I can real I feel like playing a game that's, like, short, sweet, but there's fun to be had. Bob. Uh, this is definitely a game that I would recommend. And there's so much to collect, like, there's over 200 things to connect through the- connect? Yeah. Collect through the cluck pop that I've only got, like, what, like, 20 of them? There, so there's a lot of replay fu value. There's a lot of replay value in this game. And yes, I know some of the minigames are better than others, but overall I think the package is a solid time. I can tell you this much, I wish I got this game when it came out, because I'm sure I would have absolutely loved it. I didn't get it until, like, 2018, when I was really into WarioWare thanks to Gold. Because once I played that game, it was like, oh, man. It all just came out. Harry Onion. UFO was a character. The Wanderer? The Wanderer? The guy from the cutscene? On the bottom screen of the, the gamepad, it shows pictures of these characters. A uh, wrestler and reporter from uh, Rhythm Heaven were in that opening cutscene for, uh, um, uh, what was it? It was, uh, I forgot the name of the game already. Pirates. Special thanks to Wario. Yeah, there I am. I did it, guys. With my long hair that's no longer long. Or that long, anyway. Man. I really needed a haircut. I just dropped my box for my Elgato. But yeah, it was me. I did it. I beat the game. Okey Darn! It seems I've underestimated ye, but don't get cocky. I've got a lot more tricks down me boots. Cause I'm a Wario. I want a golden cluck -a pop What is in here? I think it's just the staff credits. Yep, or epilogue. Oh. My mistake. So yes. Our Game of Mario adventure is not over yet. We may have cleared the main story, but it's time for bonus content. So we're going to save Cluck a pop for a Grand Slam at the end of the next episode, which will be the last one I do. That's not multiplayer-wise. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this gameplay of Game of Mario. Stay tuned, because next time on Game of Mario, we're going to be tackling the last two game modes, actually. This and whatever the heck that is. So next time on Game of Mario, we're going to be tackling bowling and the extra stuff. See you guys then.